Here we have a circle with the uh, center O and we have two equal chords. This is chord AB and chord PQ. And these chords are equal. If these chords are equal, I can say that the distances from the center are also equal. So I draw the distance from O to AB. It's perpendicular. So this distance M will be also equal to this distance N. So if chords are equal, the distances are also equal. So equal chords are equidistant. So again, if AB equal to PQ, therefore OM equal to ON. And the reverse also is true, which means if I have equidistant chords, chords that are equidistant, I can say they are equal. So I'll draw any two chords. See I have chord here RS and another chord CD. Now these chords are not equal. We do not know if they are equal. But what we know is their distances from the center are equal. So here this is one distance is equal to this distance. So it's given to us that OM, the distance OM equal to distance ON. If that's the case, I can say the chords are also equal. So if distances are equal, I can say this chord is equal to this chord. So I can say AB, RS is equal to DC. So if chords are equal, you can say distances are equal and the vice versa. If equidistant, chords are equidistant, they must be equal. In this theorem, we have to prove that equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. So what is given to us are equal chords. Given we have a circle, say with center O, and given two equal chords, these are the equal chords. So we have given chord, here in this case PQ is equal to RS. What we need to pr prove that they are equidistances, or which are the distances? The distances are O, L, N, O, M. So to prove O, L equal to O, M. So this is our proof. For the proof, we have to join O, P and then we join O, R. And we'll take up the triangle O, R, M. Here this triangle and here O, P, L, these two triangles. So we'll take up triangle O, M, R and triangle O, L, P. To begin with, the two chords were given equal. So R, S equal to P, Q. So we write that. R, S equal to P, Q. If R, S equal to P, Q, then half R, S will be also equal to half P, Q. Now half RS is here RM and half PQ is PL. So for half RS we'll write RM and half PQ is PL. This is given to us. We have a 90 degrees 
this angle here is 90 and this angle 2 here is 90. So we have angle OMR equal to angle OLP equal to 90 because the reason for this you can say OM is perpendicular to RS and if you look at OL is perpendicular to PQ. OR equal to OP because the radius of the same circle. So we have OR equal to OP reason radius of circle. So the triangles are now congruent by RHS. Triangle OMR is congruent to triangle OLP because this is R, this is the hypotenuse and this is the side. So by RHS the triangles are congruent. Now if the triangles are congruent by CPCT I can say that OL equal to OM by CPCT. So OL equal to OM by CPCT. So what have I proved here? It was given to me that uh, the chords were equal. Chord PQ was equal to chord RS. Therefore, I could say the distances were equal. OL equal to OM. So here PQ equal to RS was given and I proved the distances OL equal to OM. To go over it again, so two chords, two equal chords were given to us, say AB and PQ. In that they name it differently. We we'll name it here AB and PQ and we have to prove that their distances are equal. So we'll just draw their distance first. This is one distance here, M, so 90 degrees and another distance here N which is also 90 degrees and then you join this up and you prove these two triangles are congruent. First here since the full chords are equal their halves also are equal so you have this equal to this right so let's just complete it up so if uh, the full you can say AB equal to PQ so half AB equal to half PQ and half AB is AM and half uh, PQ is QN so one side we've got then we have a 90 degrees because they're perpendicular so there's 90 that is angle M equal to angle N equal to 90 and then we have the radius we have here OA equal to OQ so this is the radius so OA equal to OQ and that is radius. So these two triangles now are congruent by RHS. This is the R, the hypotenuse was the radius and this is the S. So triangles are congruent by RHS that is triangle OAM congruent to triangle OQN by RHS. And if they are equal by CPCT I can say that OM equal to ON by CPCT. So if, if uh, chords are equal, we can say they are equidistant. Prove that chords equidistant from the center are equal. So in this case, equidistant chords are, are given. We have to prove that they are equal. Here again we have two chords, we'll name it as AB and PQ. Now they're not equal, they're just any two chords. But they are equidistant from the center. So we draw the center from the center, we draw the distances. The distances are equal. So given circle with center O. and chord AB with chord AB and PQ such that here OM equal to ON in bracket chords are equidistant.
And you may also write that OM is perpendicular to AB and ON is perpendicular to PQ. What we need to prove is they are equal. That means we need to prove that chord AB equal to chord PQ. For this we'll join OM and we'll join OP. You could join OQ, OP, whichever you want. And we'll take these two triangles. So we do the proof now. We take triangle O A M and triangle O P N. And let's prove that they are congruent. So it is given to us that OM, here yeah, this is given to us, OM equal to ON was given to us, the calls were equidistant. So we write OM equal to ON, reason calls are equidistant. Now next, uh, we also know that OA equal to OP because they are radii of the same circle. Now for the third part, we know this is 90, here is 90 and here also is 90. So we have angle OMA equal to angle ONP equal to 90. So the triangles are congruent by RHS. So we have triangle OAM congruent to triangle OPN by RHS. Here is the R. This is the H and this is the S. So by RHS the triangles are congruent. R, H and the S. So here by RHS. So by CPCT now I can say that uh, AM equal to PN by CPCT. So AM equal to P N C P C T. So twice A M equal to twice P N. But what is twice A M? A M plus this is also A M. So A M plus M B is nothing but A B and P N this also is P N because N is a midpoint here. Here N is a midpoint here M is a midpoint. So for twice I say P Q and we have proved. If two intersecting chords of a circle make equal angles with the diameter, so we'll just write the two intersecting chords. One is AB and the other one is CD. They intersect at a point E and they make equal angles with the diameter. So here is a diameter PQ. And they're making equal angles with the diameter. Means this angle here will be equal to this angle. We'll write this is angle 1 and 2. This is angle 1 and this is angle 2. So angle 1 equal to angle 2. We have to prove that the calls are equal. So we need to prove AB equal to CD. Here are perpendiculars drawn from OM and OL, and I will take uh, we'll take a triangle in triangle. We take up this triangle here that is uh, OLE and triangle OME. It is given to us angle one equal to angle two is given, and we have the ninety degrees. Yeah. 
This angle is 90, this angle also is 90. So we write angle OLE equal to angle OME equal to 90. And one side is common. The side EO here is common. So we write EO equal to EO. So if that's the case, the two triangles are congruent now. Triangle OLE will be congruent to triangle OME by AAS test. So there's A here, there is A here, and there is S. So by AAS test. So if the triangles are equal, I can say and uh, the sides are equal. So I can say OL equal to OM by CPCT. But these are distances. OL is a distance. See, OL, OM is distance of CD from center, and OL is distance of AB from center. So OL and OB are distances. If their distances are equal, we can say the chords also are equal. Therefore, I can say chord AB. Well, first write CD because OM is the distance of CD. CD equal to AB. And reason, equidistant chords are equal. Two circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm intersect at two points. So this is one circle with center O. And then we have another circle with center, this is the other circle here, with center Q. A and B are the point of intersection. Now for one circle we know the radius is 5, so here we have radius 5 AB. For the other circle the radius is 3. So here we have radius 3 of the second circle. Now we have to find the distance between the two radius, between the two centers. So this distance we need to find out. Now this can be proved here, the angle here is 90 degrees because remember the OO dash is a line segment joining the centers is always perpendicular to the common chord that is AB. So OO dash is perpendicular to AB so we have angle A O dash O equal to 90. That is this angle. Here, yeah, this angle will be 90. So in triangle A O dash O, we can use Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse is AO. So AO square equal to A O dash square plus O O dash square. Phi square will be equal to 4 square. However, this is not given to us. This 3 is not given. Plus O, O dash square. 25 equal to 16 plus O. So here we write A, O dash square. We don't know this. This is of course 4 square. So 25 equal to A O dash square plus 16, 25 minus 16, so we have 9, so 3 equal to A O dash square. So here we have now 3, this is 3, which means this also will be 3, A B will also be 3. So if A O dash equal to 3, B O dash will also be 3 because we know a perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. A B is a chord 
AB is chord and OO dash is perpendicular to AB so it bisects the chord. So we can say AB equal to 3 plus 3 and that is 6. If two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle, so I have chord AB and chord CD, two equal chords that intersect within the circle, they intersect at E. Prove that the line joining the point of intersection to the center, so we are talking about the line joining point of intersection to the center, so they are talking about this line, EO, makes equal angles. So we need to prove these two angles are equal, angle made by the chord with EO and with this chord, we got to prove these two angles are equal. So we have circle with center O, equal chords AB and CD intersect at E. equal chords A, B and C, D intersect at E such that the angles are equal. Which angles are equal? I, we already have marked those. They make equal angles with the lines. So we can see these two angles are equal. We need to prove that these angles are equal. We have to prove that they, they make equal angles. This is we have got to prove that they make equal angles. So we have to prove that angle OEN equal to angle OEM. So we'll take up the proof now. Now to prove we'll take up these two triangles and prove that they're congruent. So we have triangle O and E and triangle O M E. The first it was given to us equal chords were given. So if equal chords are given the distances will be equal. So we have O M equal to O N. So first we need to write chord A B equal to chord DC. If chords are equal, distance are equal. So distance, the distance of AB from the center is OM equal to distance ON. And reason, equidistant, equal chords are equidistant. Are equidistant. So we got one. Next uh, we have the 90 degrees, you have here 90, this angle is 90 and this angle is also 90. So we have angle O and E equal to angle O M E equal to 90 and the reason for this is O N is perpendicular to C D O M perpendicular to AB. So second thing we've got and then we have OE equal to OE common. So this is the third. So the triangles are congruent that is we have triangle O and E congruent to triangle OME by AAS test. So this is not AS, I think it should be RHS. This is the hypotenuse here, OE is the hypotenuse. This is 90 R and this is the S. So they are congruent by RHS test. So by CPCT the two angles will be equal. These two angles that we need to prove will be equal by CPCT. So angle and EO 
is equal to angle M E O by C P C T. So we have proved that the angles are equal. If a line intersects two concentric circles with center O at A, B and C, prove that A, B equal to C, D. So first we'll take the outer circle, we'll call it C1. So, and for C1 we know A, D is the chord. So for circle C1 with center O, A, D is chord and now we drop a perpendicular from O we will drop a perpendicular we call it say a L we will say o, o L construction this is construct O L perpendicular to A D so OL is perpendicular to AD. If OL is perpendicular to AD, we know a perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So which means now here we have a perpendicular. Now this perpendicular will bisect the chord. So I can say LD equal to AD. These two parts will be equal because a perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So we have AL equal to DL reason perpendicular from center bisects chord. Now we take the other circle, the inner circle. We call the circle as C2, this circle. For C2, Again, here we have BC is the chord for C2. So we write for circle C2, BC is chord. And we again we have OL perpendicular to BC. So again we have a perpendicular to the chord and this perpendicular to the chord will bisect the chord. So you're L will be the will be the midpoint and these two will be equal. BL will be equal here BL will be equal to CL because the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So we have BL equal to CL same reason perpendicular from center bisects chord. Now this is our statement 1 and this is statement 2 and we will subtract these two statements. So we have AL equal to DL and below that we had BL equal to CL and if we subtract, subtracting the same statements we will have AL minus BL equal to DL minus CL. Look up and see what is AL minus BL. Here is AL and from AL if you subtract BL you will uh, do that again from so we have AL here from AL if you subtract BL you will get AB. So AL minus BL if you look up in the figure this is AL and from that AL if you subtract BL you will get AB. So we write AB equal to, now here you have DL, this full thing is DL and from DL if you subtract LC you will now get CD. So we got AB equal to CD. Let's just go over it again. So we here we have uh, a perpendicular 
L to the chord AD. So we have OL perpendicular to AD and a perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. So we have these two equal, this entire AL equal to DL. And if you take the inner circle, again we have a perpendicular to a chord, which means now these two are equal. So we have OL perpendicular to BC and we have BL equal to LC. Now if we subtract BL and LC from both the sides, what is left is AB equal to CD. So basically in the sum we have this AL equal to DL and we subtract it from BL equal to LC. If you subtract you will get AB minus BL equal to DL minus LC and AB minus BL is AB DL minus CL is uh, this is minus ACD. Three girls Reshma, Salma and Mandip are playing a game standing on a circle of radius 5 centimeters in the park. So here is a circle this is the center and there are three of them are standing on in the circle. So we see one girl is standing here, here and here. So we put them as Reshma, Salma and Mandip. Now the radius is 5 centimeters. That means here now this O, I put this as O center, here is 5 centimeter, 5 meter. This also will be 5 meter because it is the radius. So let's write that. OR equal to OS equal to 5 meter radius. Now Reshma throws a ball to Salma and Salma to Mandip and Mandip to Reshma. If the distance between Reshma and Salma, distance between Reshma and Salma, this distance, and Salma and Mandip is 6. So Salma and Mandip, this is 6. We need to find the distance between Reshma and Mandip. So we need to find this distance, Reshma and Mandip. So in step 1, we first find the area of triangle ORS. The three sides say A is 5 meter, B say is 5 meter and the third side is 6 meter. To find area first we need to find semi perimeter A plus B plus C divide by 2 that is 5 plus 5 plus 6 divide by 2 which is 8. Then to find area we use Huron's formula S S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. So this is 8. 8 minus 5, 8 minus 5, and 8 minus 6. So 8 into 3, into 3, into 2. So area equal to 8 is 2, 2, 2. Then we have 3, 3 and 2. And we make groups. So the area comes 2. This is 2, 1. Comes out as 1, 2. Then this 2 and this 2 will come out as another 2. This 3 and this 3 will be out as another 3. So we have area equal to 12 square meters. This is the first step. Now in the next step, we will now join and we will join RM. Now this angle here is 90 degrees. 
So we can now find the area of this triangle by another method. That is half base, this is the base, and height. So we'll do area equal to half base into height. So again, we do the area equal to half base into height. We'll take this as base. So we'll write uh, base equal to OS, and we know that is 5 centimeters, 5 meter, because it is the radius. And of course, the height we do not know. This is the height. We'll call this point as M, M or maybe T, M we have taken. So this RT will be the height. RT and that is the height. So area of triangle equal to half base into height. Now area we already found it was 12, half. We see the base is OS which is 5 and height we do not know and height is RT. So 12 equal to half 5 into h cross multiply 24 over 5 equal to h so we got our rt as rt as 25 uh, 24 by 5 now this is one part so here was rm and uh, this was the perpen uh, a perpendicular dot dropped. We already have found call this as uh, OT and we know these two are equal. We know we know RT equal to TM. Reason perpendicular drop from the center bisects the chord. Or perpendicular from the center bisects chord. So if this is now 24 by 5, this side also will be 24 by 5 because this perpendicular bisects the chord. So when we now want to find Rm, Rm equal to Rt plus Tm which is 24 by 5 plus 24 by 5 and that is 48 by 5 meters. This is our M. Before doing all this actually we need to prove, show why are these two perpendicular. Remember these two, we have taken this as 90 and we have to show why is that 90. For that I will just go over a property called that of a perpendicular bisector. What is a perpendicular bisector? Suppose you have a line here, say it is AB, and you have its perpendicular bisector. It is perpendicular as well as it bisects. Now if you take any point on the perpendicular bisector, any point, it will always be equidistant from these end points. This two will be equal. If you take this point to the end point, this also will be equal. Any point on the perpendicular bi bisector is equidistant from the end points. That is the property of the perpendicular bisector. So now in this case again, we have seen here that OR equal to OM because the radius OR OM equal radius which means O lies on perpendicular bisector of RM and below also when we see RS and SM are given equal so RS equal to SM is given as 6. Therefore, S also lies on perpendicular bisector. 
So now O lies in perpendicular bisector and S also lies in the perpendicular bisector. Therefore OS is perpendicular bisector of Rm. If it's perpendicular bisector, it is 90. This is 90. And of course it is a bisector. So this in fact we've got to show first to show why the angle is 90. Why this angle is 90 because we use this later. We use it as a height. A circular park of radius 20 meter is situated in a colony. Three boys, Ankur, Syed and David are sitting at equal distances on its boundary. So here's a circular park and these three boys are sitting at on its boundary. So there's Ankur. See we mark it as A, B and C. So A b and c here's the center and now we join the lines o is the center the radius is given as 20 meters the first will say let the position of the boys of three boys that is ankur Syed and David are denoted by points A, B and C respectively. Now they are at equal distances which means AB equal to BC equal to AC say equal to equal to say A. Now these are three chords that are equidistant. These, are, uh, these equal sides of an equilateral triangle are also can be considered as equal chords. So I can consider like AB is one chord, BC is the other chord and AC is also the chord of the circle and these chords are equal. Now if the chords are equal their distances from the center also will be equal. So here I'm marking the distances. Say this is OE. Here this would be OF and OD. These distances are also equal. So chords are equal. Therefore distance OE will be equal to OF will be equal to OD. And we'll say let this distance say be X. These are perpendiculars because they are distances. Equal chords are equidistant. For the next part of the sum, the area of this entire triangle ABC, so this triangle ABC can be considered to be made up of three triangles. And the three triangles is one this, the green triangle, that is BOC plus triangle AOB plus triangle AOC. So the big, big yellow triangle can be considered made up of these three triangles. So we write that its area of AOB plus area BOC plus area AOC. Now area ABC is an equilateral triangle so the area will be root 3 by 4 side square and in this case we know the side we have taken as A so this will be A square. Now area of AOB, area of AOB will be half base into height so here we have half base into the height. And we know the base is A and the height is X. So half that and the base we will take as A and the height we are taking as X. So this is the height X. Similarly BOC. BOC also is half base into height. So here is the base which is A and here is the height. 
Again, the base is BC, which is A, and we see the height is here X. And the last, also half base into height, AOC, half base is A, height is X. So, root 3 by 4, A square equal to 3 times half A into X. So his expression will find the value of x, so we take everything on the other side, root 3 by 4 a square, we'll take the 3 on the other side, 1 by 2 on the other side, and the a on the other side, which now becomes 1 by 3, 2 by 1 into 1 by a equal to x. And when we cancel, here a will cancel, this will become 2. So you now have root 3 by 3a equal to 2 into 3 equal to x. And if we were to find out a, we, it would be take 2 into 3 that is 6 over root 3x. And this will work out as uh, 2 root 3 x. How did I get 2 root 3 x? All I've done is 6 over root 3. Rationalize it. Root 3 into root 3. So 6 into root 3 over 3. And when you cancel this, you get 2 root 3. So my a is now 2 root 3 x. We'll now focus only on this triangle. We focus on triangle B O E. We know BO is 20, centi uh, 20 meters because that is the radius and they have given us. We have taken OE as X and BE, we don't know BE but how do we find BE? We know BC is equal to A, that was the side of the equilateral triangle, this whole thing was taken as A. So BE will be half of BC and the reason is a perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So BE equal to half of A. So BE is A by 2. But earlier if you remember we have found out that A is 2 under root X. This is the expression we found out earlier which makes now BE equal to for a I will put 2 root 3 x into 1 by 2 so I cancel this out so my b e will become root 3 x so this is now root 3 x I use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle so in triangle b o e the hypotenuse b o so, B O square equal to O E square plus B E square. Now, B O is 20, 20, O E is X square and B E is root 3 X the whole square. So, 400 equal to X square plus 3 X square. So, we have 400 equal to 4 X square. So, 100 equal to x square and we'll get 10 square equal to x square. So, x equal to 10. We're not done. Remember, we have to find a in this case and uh, we already have seen what was a. a was 2 root 3x. So, a now will be 2 root 3 and the x is 10. We just found just now that the x was 10. So the A is 20 root 3 meters and this is the distance between the boys. The A is the distance which is 20 root 3 m. If two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle, prove that the segment of one chord are equal to the corresponding segments of the other chord. So first we have two equal chords that intersect within the circle. 
So we take one chord as uh, AB and CD. So AB is one equal and CD. These are two equal chords and they intersect say at this point E. Now we need to show that the parts are equal. Now which are the parts we need to show equal? So we mark this as E. So we need to show that AE equal to DE and on the other side we need to show BE equal to CE. So these parts are equal. This is our proof. So we have a circle with center O two equal chords A B C D are equal chords and they intersect at E. We need to prove that A E equal to D E and C E equal to B E. Let's do that again. I have to show A E equal to D E and on the other side I have to show C E equal to B E. So here we have two equal chords A B and C D. If the chords are equal the distance also will be equal. So here is a perpendicular distance from the center. We call this as M and here N the perpendicular distance to AB. Now since the chords are equal the distances also will be equal. So ME will be equal to NE. We'll join this is O. We'll join this to give two triangles. So we have triangle MOE and uh, triangle NOE. We need to prove that they are congruent. So first we'll say MO here equal to NO. Equal chords are equidistant. So MO equal to NO reason equal chords are equidistant. Then we have the angles 90. Here by construction, angle M and N are 90. So angle OME equal to angle ONE equal to 90. This is by construction. And OE, OE is common. Here OE equal to OE, common. So triangle MOE congruent to triangle NOE by RHS test. So if they are equal by CPCT I can say ME equal to NE by CPCT. ME equal to NE by CPCT. Now we also know that AB, the chord AB is equal to chord CD that was given to us. So half AB equal to half CD. Now half AB will be MD because M is the midpoint and half uh, AB is BN because N here is the midpoint. So here for half for AB I'll write uh, BN and half CD I will write MD. This is equation 2. Here is equation 1. Now we add both the equation 2 and 1. So we have ME equal to NE and on the other side we will have uh, we will have here MD equal to BN. This is equation 2 and the earlier was equation 1. 
So when you add now, you will get Me plus Md Ne plus Bn. So Me plus Md is De. So we get this whole De is equal to full Be. So De equal to Be. This is equation 3. So earlier we have proved that DE equal to BE means we have shown here DE equal to BE. Now we need to show AE equal to CE. So for that we know AB equal to CD that is given. But AB is made up of, look up AB and see what it, what it is made up of. It's made up of AE plus B, E. And on the other side we have uh, C, D made up of C, E plus E, D. But now we are going to cancel D, E and B, E on both the sides because they are equal here. So you are left with A, E equal to C, E. So we have proved A, E equal to C, E. So these two sides are equal, these two segments, and here these two segments also are equal.